Uh, good evening, Matt Spankowski, Intergovernmental Affairs Coordinator for the City of Evanston. Um, I'm going to do a presentation on the advisory referendum on possible Evanston Township dissolution. My presentation is broken down into four basic parts, uh, township overview and services, the background of the township board deliberation coming to this point, um, what does the ballot question state and mean, and then possibilities, what could service look like if the township were to dissolve. As the city manager said, these are for education purposes only, um, and no funds shall be used to urge any elector to vote for it against any candidate or proposition. And this uh, law also states that it doesn't prohibit um, doing educational only meetings like we are doing this evening. I'm not going to read every word. I'm just putting it up there. Okay. Um, first, what is a township? A uh, township is a unit of local government governed by the township board with the township supervisor serving as the executive. Illinois townships are charged with three basic functions through the Illinois Township Code. General assistance the assessment of real property for basis of local taxation, and then the maintenance of all roads and bridges outside of federal, state, and local jurisdiction. The Evanston Township pro does provide general assistance to certain financially disadvantaged residents, as well as emergency assistance. In Evanston and all of Cook County, the appraising and valuing of real property is handled by the Cook County Assessor. The maintenance of all roads and bridges within city limits are either handled by the city of Evanston or the state of Illinois Department of Transportation. What is a coterminous township? Coterminous township, Evanston township borders are identical to its respective municipality of the city of Evanston and the township board and the city council are the same elected officials. In the state, there are, only, there are over 1,400 townships in the state, and Evanston Township is one of only 20 coterminous townships. Others in Cook County include Oak Park, Cicero, River Forest, and Berwyn. Just to take a look at the, uh, your property tax bill, you'll see that there are two line items on it um, for, that fund the Evanston Township. Um, one is the general assistance, where you can see the purple uh, arrow two, and then right below it is the town of Evanston. Just to go over a brief snapshot of the ta Evanston Township budget for 2011-2012, um, client payments amounted to about five, 546000 <laughs> Payroll was approximately $270,000. Um, general, general assistance administrative overhead was 276000 the work opportunities program was 9,000. Medical payment system, about 54,000. Emergency assistance, about 38. With a subtotal of a little over 1 point, almost 1.2 million. Um, with a total budget of 1.3 million. Then the, a brief snapshot of the Evanston Township Assessor budget. Um, salaries, 94,000. Um, taxes, IMRF. 8,300 and 1,000 respectively, um, insurance payments, <coughs> rent, um, for a total of about $150,000. So that's the grand total is 1.449 uh, million for total for both the township assessor and then the township supervisor's office. Hi. I have a question. Um, can, I, if we could, we could, we're going to take questions at the end, if, if you don't mind. If you could hold it, thank you very much. Um, so general assistance. Um, general assistance is mandated by the state and is provided by the township. It is a program in the township of Evanston is locally administered, provides financial assistance to single adults who are not eligible for any lo other local, state, or federal assistance program and do not have the income or resources to provide for basic needs. Additionally, it's up to $400 a month payment 
like I said, to persons not eligible for any other assistance. And according to the November 11th report for Evanston Township General Assistance GAS client information, Township had 86 active cases. Emergency assistance is not mandated by state law, but is currently administered by the Township. The emergency assistance services provide short-term financial assistance to Evanston residents who are facing an immediate crisis of areas of food, housing, utilities. For food, um, emergency assistance can provide financial food assistance to individuals and families who are not able or who are threatened due to uncontrolled circumstances. For housing, we can do one-time payments for up to one month's rent, mortgage, assessment fees to prevent foreclosure or eviction is up to $1,200, not to exceed one month's rent, mortgage, or assessment fees. Or it could be used up to $450 for delinquent condominium, condominium association fees as long as that um, payment prevents foreclosure. Additionally, the first month's rent uh, could be used to relocate a new housing due to fire, foreclosure, or any other usual, unusual circumstances. Additionally, as I stated, it could be used for utility payments as well. A one-time payment per 12-month period for gas, electric, or water service to prevent shutoff or to reestablish service. That would be a, a maximum of $500 per 12-month period. The Township Assessor in Evanston Township provides Evanston residents with property tax payers with a local resource for various property tax related questions. These could include, but not ex these could include, in addition to exemption questions, um, navigating the appeals process, and a wide variety of property tax inquiries. Now we're gonna address, um, now I'm gonna address how the town board uh, giving you some background to their deliberations over uh, 2011 and how and why the re resolution was placed on the ballot. Town Board met numerous times uh, in 2011 to discuss a variety of issues including the interrelated questions of township governance and budget, uh, economies of scale for overhead of various government services, reallocation of various costs associated with overhead of government services, and then, of course, possible dissolution where we are today. The town board took numerous public comments, testimony throughout the past year, and produced uh, a large number of legislative findings and extensive public record. And after many deliberations regarding the issues addressed in the previous slide, including all the ones I mentioned, the town board believed that they should get the opinion of the residents of Evanston. And what the, in, within the resolution itself it said, whereas the town board determined that its adoption of this resolution and its ex exercise of this discretionary act, it is in the best interest of the residents of Evanston Township to have the opportunity to vote upon this public question in order to express their view as to whether coterminous township government in Evanston Township might be dissolved and whether it approves of the town board pursuing such issue. Now I'm gonna just, what happens, what is an advisory referendum and what would happen if the referendum would pass? An advisory referendum, the state of Illinois election code allows for any governing body of a local unit of government by resolution to authorize an advisory question of public policy and that question of public policy to be placed on the ballot. The exact wording of the ballot question states this. Should the Evanston Town Board continue to pursue the issue of dissolving Evanston Township? And that was passed on December 5th of 2011 to be placed on the March 20th ballot. So 
So what happens if the advisory referendum passes? According to state law, an advisory opinion is that, advisory, and no legal effect shall result from the adoption or rejection from such advisory proposition. The township board will consider the results as it moves forward in its deliberations regarding possible township dissolution. Now I'm going to go into um, some possibilities of an alternative model of service if the township were to dissolve. The township were to dissolve, the city of Evanston would continue to provide Evanston residents with all the services currently offered by the township of Evanston as mandated by state law. And the city would exercise all duties, responsibilities of the township supervisor and assessor as provided in the township code, public aid code, and property tax code. The possible assessor model of service going forward possibly look to continue to offer residents with assistance regarding their property tax bill, assessment appeals, and other general inquiries. Possibly be based on the city of Chicago model, which does not have a township assessor. The Evanston, it would take place in, a, in the Civic Center with an Evanston town taxpayer assistance window based in the Civic Center open during business hours, which could assist people in their any questions that they might have. And then it would be augmented with additional staff going forward as needed in busier times. Additionally, outreach events coordinated with the Cook County Commissioner's Office and the Cook County Board of Appeals um, would happen to alert residents to what their property tax rights are. Additionally, there would be a possible installation of public computers to provide online access to resources for residents and help using those online resources as well. Going forward, a possibility for general and emergency assistance. Continue to provide direct financial assistance with general assistance to Evanston residents who lack the resources for the basic needs as provided in state law. Continue to offer one-time financial assistance for the emergency assistance to eligible residents to ensure housing and food stability or to prevent gas, water, heat, or electricity service interruptions. Additionally, examine the program's eligibility requirements for levels of assistance and length of time for which people may re receive assistance. And finally, uh, examine eligibility and application processes provided on, online and in person and doing an outreach to nonprofits. Additional uh, eligibility determination and provision services um, in concert with online access to the Illinois Department of Health Service database and using the automated wage verification system to assess employee employment benefits. That is the conclusion of my presentation.